have to do it like this because I don't have any, there's no PC version still and emulators don't work so let's do it like this so basically everybody needs status immunity and the third fight is probably I think the hardest from my notes from the, the JP side of when I completed that I said that the third boss is no slouch so take that in consideration I've got two um, Esper Gage per turn with Silka's TMR equipped to my to my units, so getting that Esper summon will be a little bit easier. I've got Fid on Ifrit for the fire mission twice and the second mission because there's no one else that can do it. And he just needs to cover his. He's still geared for Blood Moon right now. Not breakable as you can see. And the only thing that he does is do a needle attack on my provoke tank, so. So it's exactly the same thing I did on the JB side. I guess I had to stall it out a little bit. Try to get some Esper Wars here. I was doing a lot more damage than I anticipated. Doing a lot more damage than I anticipated, actually. Guts. If this doesn't kill it. Oh, we got the summon. I'm gonna have to use one first here, although I don't really know if you'll need it. Really? Yeah, this is easy enough. Just uh, make sure you're provoking with your provoke tank and make sure he's have, has auto raise up. Because most certainly he's going to die because you're probably bringing a dodge tank with you instead of me being lazy and not building a dodge tank. But dodge doesn't work on that ability anyways. It goes through dodge. Just so you guys know. Just want to apologize again for the poor quality. Of sound. So, like I said, we have we have it for, it, for the fire. We have Elena, obviously, for the light. And we're gonna have to use Lena for Holy to finish the boss. It's very, very risky, actually, and I might have to restart a few times. I'm not sure. I have to like dual cast, like triple cast it or something. I wish it would load a little faster because I'm getting point to the point where I need to start getting ready for work now. I guess I could have just done that instead.
At least I don't remember if I need a physical cover or magic cover. I just use lightning on accident. It doesn't matter too much for this fight. Okay, we should have definitely covered physical. This is just a reminder for you guys then, if you're watching this, cover physical or else you will uh, have a lot of pain. Make sure you bring status immunity with you. At least the relevant ones. Like Confuse, I think. I guess like Confuse or Resist is like mandatory. So I think it's fire. There's one fire. I know we're dual elementing now. She's imbued with two elements, but that's it's fine. Dodge Tank does work on this, and it probably would be better than what I have. I'll um, just use whatever. Doesn't matter. Another fire damage, so now we're complete on that. Susan will get her own first up. Remember guys that the next fight is the hardest. They were just fooling around here. Now we're gonna have to like take something that are pretty risky. Uh, don't know how much damage we're gonna do. So I'm probably just gonna do one at a time and just see where we're at. In fact, why don't I just do it a little bit? Not twice, or not three times, just once. Okay, he's kind of squishy, but not super squishy, so...
Charlie doesn't have much to do this fight. This fight. Okay, well, let's see if we can do it. I know I'm not doing anything super impressive right now, we're just kind of fooling around. Okay, I think, I think we've got it. One of those little hands. The next fight is the hardest, 100%. We've got two Elena LBs up, I think we can just uh, do it. Cause then it's just two limit burst and defeat him with a limit burst, no green magic, so we can probably just one shot him, I think. Or for people who are not in my position right now, just take full caution that he actually is very surprisingly difficult. Just just keep that in mind when you're doing this. If you're even watching this far, I'm sure you are maybe. Hopefully. And whenever the PC version comes out on global, I'm definitely switching right to that. So I don't know when it's going to come. I'm just hoping it comes out soon. Because I'm... It makes me in my life really stressful that I can't just do global stuff just as easy as I can do with the JP stuff for you guys. So no preemptives. But he does do really strong physical attacks and a magical attack. So it's hard to cover both, obviously. And he's defense and... You're pretty cool, so we definitely will die to this. Unless I mess this up. And let's boost, boost our magic up a little bit. Oh, that was perfect. Should definitely die to this. Doesn't, then I'm surprised. Uh, he's not really taking that much damage. Damn. That's really bad. I was expecting that to do a lot more damage. I think he's just physical cover instead. But now we're screwed because we don't have any limit burst left. So we're going to have to do the old rotation. And do this. I'm being redundant with my buffs, that's okay. Holy, okay. 
I didn't expect him to do that kind of a move. But if he can survive this, I think we will. Maybe. Okay, I think we can do it this time. We have an imbue actually this time, and... Yeah, I think this time it's definitely gonna kill him. Hundred percent. Hundred percent to. He's really tanky though, as you guys can see. Okay. That was close that was actually pretty close, but he's actually really tanky and he's really strong, as you guys can see. He one shot in my tank that has twenty six K HP and over a thousand defense and spirit, so keep that in mind guys, like I said, he's really hard. He's hard well he's not He's not like a super trial or something, it's, just, it's hard for like a regular event, you know? So, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.